Christmas from Great Getaways in the Great Lakes Bay region. Today we're going to travel throughout the Great Lakes Bay region and show you all the wonderful places where you can celebrate Christmas. With the arrival of Santa to the area, the giving spirit arrives too. And there is no better place to find unique gifts than downtown Bay City. And while in Bay City, we're going to continue with a lot of the really neat things to do in downtown. Right in downtown Bay City, you can celebrate the holidays with Sundays in the city. This is one of the most wonderful times of the year. You can feel excitement in the air as children in tow anticipate one of the most important events in Bay City, the arrival of Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. With their flashlights in hand to guide the way, children gather at Bay City's Winona Park, where it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. As families arrive to the sounds of Christmas music, they meet and share holiday cheer and to hear the beloved story, The Night Before Christmas, read by the mayor, just before Santa arrives and the festivities begin. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good... A big Bay City welcome for Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus! Downtown Bay City truly showcases the holiday season with all of its one-of-a-kind shops and eateries. Dozens of downtown businesses participate in Sundays in the city with sales and special events to get shoppers in the holiday spirit. Adding to the fun atmosphere are the horse-drawn carriage rides, strolling musicians, and a sleigh of gifts giveaway. Shopkeepers are on hand to help their customers as they purchase that special gift. The homey and family-friendly atmosphere is so inviting, and a good way to wrap up the day is to visit the State Theater, grab some popcorn, and enjoy a holiday movie together. You know Santa, I know you really like your sweets, so in Bay City you're going to want to stop at the Sweet Boutique. They hand make their chocolates there, and they're so delicious. And we also have St. Laurent Brothers Nut Company. They've got all kinds of different nuts, but also that old time penny candy that the kids love. Great for stocking stuffers, Santa. We're gonna have to stop yeah. there. The Sweet Boutique is one of the most unique shops in Bay City, especially if you have a sweet tooth. Whether you stop in for a coffee or espresso, you'll enjoy lingering in the relaxed atmosphere. You can enjoy the delectable handmade chocolates or choose from some of the fun chocolate creations, such as Munchy Mouths. Many of the sugar candies are produced in-house from scratch as well. The elegant display cases show off their wonderful offerings and whatever truffle you choose, your taste buds are in for a flavor journey. Be sure to make the Sweet Boutique a true artisan chocolate and candy shop the first stop on your list. Sweets go naturally with nut meats and treats found at the St. Laurent Nut House. St. Laurent Brothers was founded in 1904 by two brothers and they worked here for quite a while then one family kind of took it over and then uh, we purchased it in 1985. Our specialty pretty much are fresh roasted nuts, cashews, peanuts. Our peanut butter is known throughout the Midwest and people order all over the country. And then we also do hand dipped chocolates and things, clusters peanut clusters, cashew clusters, that's kind of what we're known for, chocolates and nuts and peanut butter. Here is where you can really get that coveted fresh peanut taste along with more kinds of nuts all roasted daily at their factory outlet. With the addition of some chocolate melters and some very talented hand dippers, they also carry a complete line of homemade nut clusters and milk, bittersweet, dark and white chocolate. We couldn't help reminiscing as we found many of the candies we enjoyed in our childhood. 
The friendly staff saying so long as we leave with our stash know we'll be back again and again. Okay, Santa, I think we need to jump in your sleigh. We're gonna head over to Midland and go over to the Santa School. I hope Rudolph is ready. The Santa School is one of those places that I love to go because I teach other people how to look like me. Always thrown in Santa's honor, there is nothing like a holiday parade. The Midland Santa Holiday Parade has been a holiday family tradition since 1985. The floats, bands, and marching organizations wave and pass out candy along the route. It starts at Midland High School on East Lawn and travels down Ashman Street to Main Street, ending near Cronkright. There's not a bad seat in the house. You never know what you will see along the route. Snowflakes, reindeer, and sweets and treats. Recognition goes to participants for the best decorated or most spirited floats, as well as who best follows the parade theme. Each year, the Grand Marshal leads the festivities and brings Christmas cheer to residents and visitors. The Midland Santa Holiday Parade is certainly entertaining, and perhaps more importantly, it provides funds for the Salvation Army's local Toys for Kids program. Santa is never too busy to spend time with children, so he has his own house he invites them to in Midland. Just like at the North Pole, he and his elves are there to greet the young ones, pose for a picture, and find out what is going on in their little minds and hearts. He comes straight here after he makes sure the Midland Christmas tree is lit for the holiday season. Christmas is known as the giving season and a holiday art fair is like receiving gifts from artists that you can share. It is not simply something for everyone, but it is something special for that special someone. That is what you will find at the annual holiday art fair at the Midland Center for the Arts. There is a small admission cost of $4 for each day or $6 for both days, and youth 17 and younger are admitted free. The proceeds fund upcoming exhibitions and educational programs. Juried artists offer everything from jewelry and ceramics to paintings and sculptures. It's a good opportunity to meet them and inquire about their creations. Whether you're looking for a gift, an ornament, or want to start a new holiday tradition, Join in this special event. You may even spot Santa Claus doing some special shopping, or if you're a secret Santa, there are numerous small items to choose from. The show pleases all the senses, sounds of the holidays, smell of handcrafted soaps and lotions, sights of beautiful creations, and feelings of warmth and happiness. Perhaps you will spot some pieces of art that you want for your own holiday home decorating or furnishings. It's a great place to find an item of treasured jewelry for a spouse or a loved one. Even if you come just to look and enjoy the holiday spirit, you will be gifted as some of the museum school faculty members demonstrate their skills and young musicians from local schools and varied artists perform through the weekend. So bring your list, wear comfortable shoes, and when you leave, it will be with a great smile of satisfaction. Hey, Mrs. Claus, I think Rudolph and the rest of the reindeer have rested up enough. I think it's time for us to fly over to Saginaw City Center. Oh, while there, you're going to want to go to Holidays in the Heart of the City, a wonderful free event the Friday before Thanksgiving. We have fireworks, pony rides, reindeer, visit with Santa and Mrs. Claus again, free concerts and so much more. And the next day, we're in another parade right from downtown all the way through the city. How can you wrap yourself in the holiday spirit? Spend a festive evening at Children's Zoo at Celebration Square, 1730 South Washington in Saginaw. It offers free admission during the holiday in the heart of the city celebration, though donations are happily accepted. Families can visit the animals as they walk through the twinkling holiday decked out zoo, take a holiday ride on the train, or sit on your favorite horse on the sparkling carousel ride. Children should be on the lookout for the opportunity to say hi to Santa as he is out enjoying the festivities there. 
Adding to the Christmas spirit is the music of the holidays, shared by all the carolers and Christmas programs presented at area churches, including the Praise Choir, performing through the night at Holy Cross Lutheran, and the Saginaw Area Concert Band performs its Christmas concert at St. John Episcopal Church. The First United Methodist Bells on High opens at Holy Family Catholic Church, followed by the Holy Family Community Choir and Valley Lutheran High School Golden Voice Choir. These events make it a truly memorable night, topped off with the lighting of the trees. The countdown begins for the highly anticipated lighting of the trees at the water treatment plant. Each year they seem brighter and more beautiful, and one of the best ways to enjoy the glow from the Christmas lights is by taking a horse-drawn wagon ride through the city. We couldn't stop singing. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. <laughs> And just take a look at all the cookie house displays entered into the annual Pioneer Sugar WSGW Cookie House Competition at the Anderson Enrichment Center during the holidays at Celebration Square and Old Town. From simple to elaborate creations, the children are in a sugary dreamland. You can also hear the squeals of delight from the children as they get to take a ride on the ponies on their way to visit with Santa and Mrs. Claus at the gazebo in Borchard Park in Old Town to be sure they get their Christmas wishes filled. Santa parked his reindeer nearby so the children could meet Rudolph and the rest. Can you name them all? Before heading over to watch the fireworks, a stop at the Castle Museum Cookie Hut for a free cookie is always a delight. The Ojibwe Island fireworks display on Friday night caps off the evening adding brilliant light and explosive sounds to the delight of the thousands of visitors to the extravaganza. Nothing transforms downtown Saginaw into a magical destination more than the annual Christmas parade. Bundle up and come enjoy marching bands, floats, costumed characters, drill teams, historical vehicles, and more, all described at the Frankenmuth Credit Union Reviewing Stand. Lots of candy canes and Christmas treats are handed out to the kids along the way who wait the coming of the best float of all, Santa Claus. He and Mrs. Claus are so pleased to greet all along the route, but are anxious to return to the warmth of their home at the North Pole to finish packing for the big day. Nearby Saginaw is Freeland, where Apple Mountain is, and you're not going to want to miss going to Festival of Trees. There are dozens and dozens of decorated trees and wreaths that you can buy tickets on and try to win to take home. Wonderful artwork made by local people and lots of goodies to buy for your friends as well. It's a great three days over at Apple Mountain. And if the snow is right, you might even want to go down the ski hill. When we arrived at Apple Mountain in Freeland, we found a very merry and bright Christmas in its East Ballroom, where nearly 100 trees were on display, decorated by various businesses and groups in the Great Lakes Bay region. Today we're at the Festival of Trees, and it's our annual fundraiser for the Junior League. We have over 100 different trees and wreaths decorated by businesses and people within the community. Some trees are very traditionally decorated, other ones are a bit more creative. Um, attendees come and they purchase raffle tickets, a dollar each or six for five, and then they write their names and phone numbers on the tickets, and you can place your ticket in front of the tree you wish to win. And on Sunday at four o'clock, we have a raffle of all of the trees, and if you're a lucky winner, we actually wrap the tree up and deliver it to your house for you free of charge. It takes up to four hours to decorate a miniature tree and up to eight hours for a full-size one, but the results are always dazzling. Whatever the theme of the tree, ornaments and bows, strings of light and special surprises adorn them all. It's a gift to the eyes, a delight to the senses, and a great place to find ideas to take home for your own tree or wreath. We enjoyed interacting with vendors selling their homemade items and crafts. The Junior League really outdoes itself with this splendid holiday show. It's one way they give back to the community. Share the holiday cheer with your friends and family. Apple Mountain is located within 20 minutes from anywhere in the Great Lakes Bay region. It's a great place to learn to ski and snowboard close to home. They have 100% snowmaking capabilities, and with an annual snowfall average of 52 inches, snow conditions are usually the best you'll find in the area. 
The state-of-the-art grooming equipment and quad chairlift with four toes make this a favorite ski and snowboard destination. We need to go to Chesaning. Yeah, sounds like a great trip. They have such a wonderful candle walk there up and down the boulevard. So many things to do and wagon rides again. It's just beautiful and luminaries right down the middle of Main Street. The charming village of Chesaning is so inviting during its annual Christmas candlelight walk. The tree lighting extravaganza signals the start of this sparkling event as the special tree is raised high above the town and the star is lit. The entire family will find something to celebrate during this annual holiday celebration with free horse-drawn carriage rides, the Festival of Trees, the Nativity Challenge, Gingerbread House Walk, Arts and Crafts, free hot cocoa, and Santa Claus. The light magic in the village captures the Christmas spirit as you walk among a fantastic assortment of vehicles and objects parked in downtown Chesaning on Broad Street, outlined with hundreds of tiny sparkling lights. Any vehicle or object that can be brought downtown and strewn with Christmas lights can be entered into the Christmas light contest. Bring your camera and enjoy getting into the holiday spirit with your family. Stroll along the brilliantly lit street, marvel at the fantasy shapes created by the twinkling lights. Enjoy the sights, sounds, and smells of this holiday magic. Climb into the horse-drawn carriage for a free ride through the glow of thousands of candles and tiny sparkling lights along the boulevard. Compliments of the Chesaning Downtown Development Authority. Step to the festive live music and listen to the carols. Enjoy the church-sponsored nativity scenes along the boulevard. A visit to the Chesaning Christmas Candlelight Walk in November is the best way to get you and your family into the Christmas spirit. And while you're here in Chesning, you're going to want to stop by my village. Come on in, families, and see Santa Claus again. Make some arts and crafts. It's a fun way to spend a day in Chesning. Leland Thomas said, in the eyes of children, we find the joy of Christmas. In their hearts, we find its meaning. A visit to the Saginaw Fairgrounds in Chesaning after it has been transformed into Santa's village brings true meaning to Thomas's words. The look on the children's faces as they enter the magical kingdom confirms what they love about the season, family, Santa, and toys. Santa has brought dozens of elves to provide fun and entertainment for the young ones who are in awe with all that glitters. They can enjoy Christmas crafts, write their own letter to Santa, take a ride on the carousel with their friends, and experience a gleeful ride down the slide. The older set can browse through the Kris Kringle Market, a string of vendors that ends with Sharon Miller's expansive Christmas village before heading over to visit with Santa and have some keepsake family photos taken. You know, being pulled by Rudolph and the rest of the reindeer in my sleigh is not the only way to visit the Great Lakes Bay region. Families might want to take a nice little train ride at Rethke Park in Thomas Township. It goes outdoors and takes you through the wonderful wooded area, and it's a great way to celebrate Christmas and the winter. Climb aboard the Rethke Express for the Thomas Township Christmas Train Light Festival at 400 Letty Road. The 30 horsepower train departs from the depot and ferries families through the park as it loops on a three quarter mile long, 16 inch wide track to see various Christmas light displays along the route. At the end of our journey, we enjoyed treats provided by JJ's County Style Cafe while staying toasty by the bonfire. Once again, Santa and his elves were there for a visit with the families and photo ops. We encourage families to hang out, listen to the music, get warm by the fire. We're trying to make it as we grow more of a family experience. And that's our goal is to get families, little kids to come out here um, and enjoy this park. Exit 136 on I-75 lands you at the largest outlet mall in the Midwest. It's easy to go from store to store under the covered walkways, and when you enter your favorites, you'll find them well stocked with the latest in fashion. Be assured, there is something for everyone at the Birch Run Premium Outlet. A lot of people come over to Frankenmuth in Saginaw County to celebrate Christmas. What a wonderful way to kick off the season, but the day after Thanksgiving, going over to the Frankenmuth River Place. 
is the holiday celebration and candle walk. It's a phenomenal event. The reading of the Christmas story, followed by a patriotic walk with candles up to the visitor center plots where a tree is illuminated for all of our veterans to see. Frankenmuth's holiday celebrations officially get underway with their annual candle walk along the River Place Festival plots. As the crowds gather at the River Place complex, they're delighted to take in the more than 30 shops and attractions fully decorated for the holidays. It's a great night to visit the candy shops and other specialty stores with their large lighted displays. Along the plots, free cookies and hot chocolate are offered to bring warmth to your insides. The walkways are heated so they're not slippery, and visitors can be a part of the celebration by buying candles and drip cups. Also available are holiday spectacles that transform some of the complex's lights into three-dimensional angels, snowflakes, and snowmen. The official lighting of the River Place tree is greeted with oohs and ahs and is followed by the candle walk. Walkers make a loop through River Place, over the lighted pedestrian bridge, over the Cass River, and along Main Street to the Visitor Center, where Santa will meet children. There are attractions for them along the way, and the event is wrapped up with a holiday laser show. If Santa has a second home, it has to be in Frankenmuth. The old Christmas station in Frankenmuth is a European-style cafe at 100 South Main. The menu features Swiss, Austrian, and German food, and the restaurant has the feel of a Viennese cafe. It's located in a former train station in Frankenmuth, and its warmth and elegance is enhanced with oak and birch wood, a fireplace, and the original tile floors. It's the unique kind of place where you will want to linger over a cappuccino, perhaps share a pastry with family and friends, and review your holiday purchases. The restaurant also features a museum of antique German Christmas ornaments collected over the years. A stroll through the museum will remind you of Christmas's past as you come across many glass-blown Christmas ornaments, Santa Clauses, figurines, and cookie cutters from the 1700s to the 1900s. We were impressed by all of the handcrafted figurines of Old St. Nick, the wood carvings, artwork, and music. Barbara Heidinger, a native of Switzerland, met her husband Gary at a convention in 2000. They were brought together through their mutual interests in antique German Christmas ornaments. After they married, they looked for a place to settle down, display their ornaments, and open a cafe. Frankenmuth, with its European heritage and a close connection to Christmas, was the perfect place for them to come and interact with visitors through their amazing cafe and museum. The Christmas station, with its fabulous food, interesting museum and delightful owners will soon become a favorite Christmas tradition for you and your family. Ho 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 and welcome to one of my most favorite places on earth, Brunner's Christmas Wonderland right here in Frankenmuth. Tis the season all year long at Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, the world's largest Christmas store in Frankenmuth. During the holiday season, nearly 19,000 children come to visit Santa with their families and on one record-setting day, more than 25,000 came through its doors. But Bronner's can handle the crowd. The impressive building covers 7.35 acres, or five and a half football fields of space, with more than two acres devoted to the sales room. Wayne Bronner, president and CEO of Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, is proud of its heritage. It was never envisioned to be the world's largest Christmas store here in Frankmuth, Michigan. My father had a penchant for Christmas, and he made the transition from being a sign painter into the Christmas business, and it just grew and grew and grew and grew to become the world's largest Christmas store. We were blessed with tremendous numbers of people that wanted to visit us, so we just got to the point where we weren't able to handle them anymore with the physical location that we had, and relocated to this location here in 1976, where we have 45 acres. Bronner's Christmas Wonderland features over 50,000 different items. The good news is that they're very affordable. Uh, and less than, uh, less than $10 would have the category of probably two-thirds of the items, and half of them sell for less than $20, so they're very affordable. Everybody needs something for Christmas, and we have items from all kinds of ornaments, about 8,000 different styles of ornaments, to collectible figurines, to nutcrackers, to a whole forest full of artificial Christmas trees, and lots of LEDs and lights to decorate them with. 
One of our most popular categories of items would be personalized ornaments, and we sell lots and lots of different personalized ornaments. So if you want a uh, personalized phone ornament, for example, or a personalized volley or volleyball ornament, we have those. They'll put people's names on them. If you just want a plain, shiny Christmas ornament, we've got those too. And we have a whole team. When we get to maximum numbers, we have probably 60 different people that paint names on ornaments, and they do a fantastic job putting out tens of thousands per year. The tradition of hand-painted, personalized ornaments began back in the 1960s. Nearly 400,000 of them are sold every year. The beautiful displays give shoppers great Christmas decorating ideas. Perhaps you will want to add pieces to your family's traditional display or start a new tradition of your own. Approximately 50% of the glass ornaments sold are Bronner's own designs. Be sure to take a cart because it will be easy to fill with delightful items from the sales room. Bronner's has been one of our most fun stops on this Christmas in the Great Lakes Bay Region getaway. We're sure it will be one of yours. Are you full of the Christmas spirit and holiday cheer? We enjoyed bringing you today's show, spreading the Christmas spirit and building excitement for the holiday and new year to follow. Learn more about Christmas festivities in the Great Lakes Bay region from today's show by ordering a free information packet from the contact information on your screen. We really enjoy your comments, so be sure to let us know what you thought about today's show. Use our travel planner for your own great getaway to the Great Lakes Bay region. And be sure to visit our Facebook page and Pinterest and Twitter accounts often. Your merry online adventure will be just the start of your next great holiday getaway. Ho, ho, ho! I hope you have enjoyed your trip through Michigan's Great Lakes Bay region. There is just so much to do. Make sure you go to greatgetaways.tv to see everything that you can do here in the Great Lakes Bay region.